Okay, so what trouble are we going to get into today? So one of the things I wanted to do is put in a GoTech device. And that's what this is. If you're not familiar with a GoTech, um, this device emulates a disk drive. So there's a status screen. There's a USB port. And the USB port is where you're going to be putting in um, a, a memory stick with images of uh, the floppies, of individual floppies. And then this encoder basically um, will flip through each one of those disk images. So it's like having a whole bunch of floppies um, inside the memory stick and this encoder basically just flips through the floppies. Okay, so I use GoTex for just about everything. If you look at my videos, I have I, I show you how to configure a GoTex for the IBM, a GoTex for the TRS-80, GoTex for I think um, the Amiga. Um, so just about everything I love these things. Now, this is the latest one. It uses the 435 MCU. And that is cool because this already comes with the LCD screen and the encoder already configured for you. Um, in the past, you had to do all this configuration and modify the front for the LCD panel, everything. If you look at my videos, you'll see how it used to be back in the day. No longer. Now everything's already done for you. So easy. The only thing we're going to need to do is program flash floppy on it. And so we're going to need to solder a jumper, uh, a, a couple of a pins here to jumper um, these two little pads there to tell it that we're going to be programming it. Um, so that's the GoTech. What are we going to emulate with this? We're going to emulate the 1581. And that's what this is, a 1581 drive. And the 1581 drive uses a drive, obviously. Um, so we're going to be replacing this drive with our GoTech. Okay. So taking that drive out leaves us with the guts of the 1581. Okay. So we'll be connecting the GoTech with the ribbon cable, just like we do the drive that we're replacing it with. And here you go. This is what we're going to use. Um, as the backbone for the GoTech device and eliminate the, the need for disk drives. Um, now, you know, the argument can be made, well, I could do the same thing with an SDIEC and all this other stuff and everything. Yeah, you could. But for me, this is cooler. <laughs> so anyways, all right. So that's what the deal is. That's what we're going to do today. Um, configure a GoTech device for the Commodore 64. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna need to solder those two programmable pins there, and or the two programmable pins, the two the jumper pins there, so we can program this thing. And part of that is going to be taking this thing apart. Very easy. Three screws hold the whole thing together. Pop, top pops off. So we're going to be putting a jumper on these two pins here. So that's what we're going to be soldering two pins onto. And this thing, once you have the screws off, this thing just kind of just pops right out, as you can see. Okay, you just want to be careful with the front, but we'll just get this taken out and take out the LED here. And this thing just slides right out and you can take this jumper off. Okay, I'm not going to need to do that. I can just flip this thing over just like this. Okay, so let me get these things soldered in and we'll be right back. Okay, so here I've got the uh, the pins um, soldered in. And so we're going to jumper these two right here. Put the case back together and we will be ready to flash, put flash floppy on here. So. The one thing you're going to need in order to do this is um, obviously the flash floppy firmware, which I will leave a link to in the description. And then you will also need a USB-A to USB-A cable. Okay, so that's important. USB-A to USB-C cable won't work. Um, so that USB-A cable is a necessity, USB-A to USB-A. So... Let's source that cable out. Okay, so this is the cable that you're going to need. Um, now, old school way, you didn't really need to do it through the USB port. 
Um, if you look at my video for uh, configuring a GoTech for the IBM, there's a way that you can do it also through the pins, through the jumpers, um, and you don't need a USB-A to USB-A, but it, this makes it a whole lot easier. So you have one of these cables, you're basically just going to plug it in uh, to the front of the GoTech here, and then just plug the other end of the cable into your computer, and you're all set. Okay, so let's go ahead and configure or push fly, uh, flash floppy on this thing. And take a look at the screen here. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is go ahead and download uh, flash floppy and go to their website and come down here, and download flash floppy. It's not their website, it's their GitHub. And then we want to download the zip file. Okay, then the next thing we want to do is we need to download the programmer utility. So we're going to go here to the Artery website and go to Resources Tools, which we just scroll down here and go to the Tools section here. And then we're going to go to ISP. programmer this guy right here so so we're going to download that guy okay so you need to follow the instructions on uh, programming um, they're on the firmware program part of the flash floppy wiki page okay so we know that we have to uh, run the install file Okay, and then after that we run the utility. Okay, and obviously we plug the GoTech into the computer. So let's do that next. So I'm going to move this to the desktop just to make it easy for me. So we want to install the driver. So let's just go ahead and run it. Okay, so now that we've got the driver installed, we're going to plug in the GoTech next. Okay, uh, so now we have to go and install run the programmer. Ugh. Okay, so we need to come back here and we need the library file, so we're going to have to. Well, um, <laughs> God knows what malware we must have put on our computer with this program. Uh, looks like Japanese. So fortunately, I worked for Japanese companies in my past. There we go. All right. So, okay, we want to choose USB. And there we go. That's our GoTech right there. All right. Great. Okay, so we just go past this screen here, and then what we want to do next is disable the access protection. So we do that next. Oh, 
Okay, so that's done. So now we're going to upload the hex file for the 435 because that's what we're using. So download to device. That's what we need. Um, and then we want to add the file. Okay, 435, and that's the file, and then we'll verify after download, so that's fine. So I think we're good to go here. Okay, so we are done. So everything was uploaded, verified. So now we have a flash floppy and everything on our system, on our GoTech device. Okay. Okay. So now we can unplug this out of the way and we can take the, uh, the jumper out here because we don't need it anymore since we're done programming it. at it here I'm gonna jumper s0 here so I'm gonna change this jumper to s0 it's not if it's not already there I can't really see um, because of the angle that I'm at but um, let me show you the jumper that I'm gonna put on there once I put it on there but I'm also going to go ahead and put the power cables in here while I'm at it and I'm using DuPont um, plugs with ribbon cable Okay. All right. It's nice and firm. And okay, so this jumper here I'm going to take out. And I'm going to put it on S0, which is right next door. Okay, so that's my jumper settings on the GoTech. You can see that there. All right. So now we can put everything back. Um, before I do so, let's just go ahead and just leave this case off. Okay, so the jumpers for the power that you see here are these right here, and this goes like this. So the right of the power pins here go to the left of the GoTech here in that horizontal order. Okay, so that's the power. And then as far as the cable is concerned, I have a short cable here. Okay, so pin one on here is on the left. Okay, and pin one is on the right on the drive, so we have to kind of, this is probably not the best cable for this, but I'm going to have to flip this cable over like this. Might get a, a longer cable um, to make this easier, but for now... For our intensive purposes for testing this thing, we're going to just go ahead and do it this way. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely going to find another cable here. But like I said, for our testing purposes, um, we are all set. So I'm going to go ahead and put the case back together again. So, okay, at this point, we are done. So let's go ahead and get a computer in here and hook this thing up and see if everything works like we're hoping it will. All right, so stay tuned. Okay, so I got the GoTech hooked up to the Commodore here. Let's see if it works. I have the GoTech, well, kind of turned on. Let's turn the computer on. There we go. So we've got uh, a few things loaded on here already. They're the D81 files. They're the only files that are going to be able to work on this thing. So we've got gunship, uh, lemmings, you know, a bunch of files on here. So I'm going through the encoder. They're all D81 files. Again, the only files that will work on here. So let's put it on gunship and let's just do load a directory and see, if, uh, see how well this works. It's a little slower than I imagined it would be, but there you go. That's all the gunship files. There we go. All right. So we can see that um, gunship is loading up just fine, and yeah, that's how. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what else to say. I mean, there really is all there is to it, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah. So you know, is this the most efficient use of a? 1581, no. Um, efficient use of a GoTech, no. I mean, there's burst mode partitioning, CBM86. I mean, there's a few things that are going on with the GoTech, but, you know, still on and all, all in all, I was going to put this in to an SX64, but um, I don't know. You know, after fiddling around with it for a little bit, uh, I'm thinking maybe I should just stick to the Pi. <laughs> You know, takes up less space. Um, don't have to sacrifice a 1581. Um, it just so happened that I had the guts to a 1581. So I just thought I'd do this. Like I said, I love the GoTex. I use them on just about every device. So just wanted to see that I could do it. Um, it's been done before. This isn't new. But, um, you know, if curiosity got you and you have a 1581 <laughs> laying around in a GoTex, there's a little project for you just to play with. All right. So anyways, there you have it. Uh, go tech on a Commodore. So hopefully you got something out of this and it wasn't a total waste of time. <laughs> all right. So, hey, like I always say, enjoy life. And that's what this is all about. Right. Live for today and uh, and be happy. All right. There you go. Peace out.